Yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the name. And in this video, I wanted to tell you guys that there is no excuse for not being successful in this country. There is no excuse. I don't want to hear about your struggles. I don't want to hear about none of that because I got a story to tell you about. All right. So I'm coming back from uh, California. Right. And so I get, you know, I get an Uber back from the airport and you know, it's a guy, he's driving me, I can tell he's foreign. And so, I, you know, I just asked what country he was from, like, where is he from or whatever. And so he tells me he's from Burma. And so I was like, okay, cool. I'm not really sure where that is. He tells me, like, kind of like the other countries around it. And, you know, so I asked him, like, how long he had been here in the United States. And so he tells me his story, how he, his dad left when he was, like, seven years old to go to another country I think Malaysia and, um, you know, so he left them and his family when he was like seven to try to make a better way. And I guess his dad paid some people to smuggle him into Malaysia. So um, he got caught, I guess, during the during the smuggling situation and they put him in a so he was arrested, put into a camp and. Then they, I guess they exported him or they told him they, he had to go to another country. I think he tried to go to Thailand. I think he got caught trying to get to Thailand as well. And they held him for another year in this kind of, I guess it was a camp, another camp. But he said they held him for another year because they, they told him he could choose between like th this, this other situation was like, we'll help you get to another country. And... He was trying to get to, I don't know, whatever country it was, and he couldn't get to that country. And so they said, look, we can help you try to get to the United States, but, you know, trying to get to these other countries, it's better if you we get help get you to this to the United States. So when well, he said he spent a year there because he was not trying to go to the United States. And so um, going in, I guess, going into the second year, he was like, okay, Send me to the United States. So they put him on a plane, sent him to the United States. He got asylum, um, you know, in the United States. He, he was able to receive asylum in the United States. And that was five years ago. And he said when he came here, he didn't speak any English at all. None, right? So why is this story important? The story is important. is It's important because five years ago, this guy came to the United States, and you know we were having our talks, and he was just saying how he was in school now, and how he's been you know driving Uber, and he worked at gas stations and things like that, and he's just been you know hustling and stacking up, and I think he was on his second or either third car, um, and his car was you know pretty. It was a decent car. I think it was a Prius. I think, but. No, it was a Camry, but it was a really nice car. And so it was like he owned the car and, and you know, he, he's just been working. He has no children. He's just been trying to elevate his life. He's still a very young dude. Um, but the story is important because when I asked him, um, you know, if he lived by himself and he said, well, he doesn't have any kids. He's, he doesn't have a you know any family that he's really connected to here. He knows some people that he came here with from, um, from I guess through that situation. But he was like, he's kind of here on his own for the most part. And the reason I was asking, excuse me, was because I was wondering what he did about rent because rent has increased over the last five years. So I so I was basically trying to find out if he had got into some kind of situation where maybe he had assisted, assistance with his rent or if he was staying with people or whatever it was. So I said, hey, so what's the rent situation like? And he said, oh, I wouldn't know because I bought my house two years ago. And I said, wait, you bought a house two years ago? And he said, yeah. He said, I got here three years ago, didn't speak any English. Three years. He said, I rented for three years and I bought a house two years ago. And he said, since I bought my house, the mortgage has gone up. I mean, the uh, the values have gone up almost $200,000. 
owning the house that he purchased two years ago. He said the house is now worth like 400 and some thousand. He said, I can't believe it. It's crazy. Over those two years of, you know, everybody saw this added inflation. So this guy came here to the United States without being able to even speak English, has been able to work and grind up doing odds and end jobs, enough money where he was able to get a loan on a house after renting for three years. He works pretty much for himself, driving Uber. He rented for three years and now he's a homeowner and he rents rooms in his house to other foreigners in his similar kind of situation. He said he only charges them about $300 a month right now. Um, but, you know, I was talking to him about, you know, he could probably go up, I'm sure. And so he's basically been doing that since the very beginning. Oh, anyway, I thought that I needed to tell some of you guys that if he has been in a concentration camp or some sort, some kind of camp, basically like a prison. Um, so he's been in that situation for two years, then spent another year in another kind of holding kind of situation. S had to come here under asylum, under an as he's an asylum, refu uh, asylum refugee. He came here as a refugee three, uh, five years ago, ran it for three years, didn't speak any English, and now is a homeowner who's renting out rooms, who's house hacking, okay? There is no excuse, okay? Do you know what he had to go through just to come to a place where you already are? You were born here. You know how many people who I know are born here? say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, they have every excuse in the world as to why they have not yet bought a house. They rent forever. They never grow any family value, any family wealth. Somebody come here who been through all that. I don't want to hear none of your excuses. There are no more excuses.